Hello and welcome to Edinburgh Watch Company. My name is Jonathan and on today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Rolex Datejust. Now you can find out more about this watch along with all of our latest collection by visiting our website at edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk and there you'll find photographs, technical specification and pricing. But anything else you'd like to find out about the watch or any of our collection, then please just give me a call directly. So today's watch is the watch that was introduced back in 2017 at the Baal Watch Fair. This is the Rolex Datejust 41. And you'll see here this particular one has a lovely black dial and this is a 2020 unworn piece. Now we're shooting this video on the 30th of March uh, 2021 and it is uh, one of a number of Datejusts we have. So we also have it with a rhodium dial, we have a silver dial, and we've also just taken in two beautiful stainless steel and yellow gold ones too. Now these things are moving very quickly, so I apologize if when you look at this video, the watch may not be there, but we've always got lovely watches coming along too. And if you have perhaps a Rolex you're looking to sell or maybe part exchange, then I'd love to hear from you as long as it's got all the original box and papers and in good condition. So this particular watch, as I said, it's an unworn watch. Um, Let's go back a little bit. The Rolex Datejust is a model. It's a watch that's been in Rolex's range probably since about the 1930s. A watch, of course, worn by ladies or gentlemen with a case size going from 26 right up to 41 mil. Now, until the Datejust 2 came out, which I think was round about 2014 or so, the biggest Datejust size you could get was 36 mil. So that was, you know, the gentleman's size. Although that size is still being made now, the traditional gent size has gone up to a 41 mil. The 36 mil is still very popular, um, but also a size that's become very fashionable to wear by ladies too. So the Datejust 2 came out and that ran from round about 2014 to 2017. And that was Rolex's foray into the larger cases. Rolex, of course, like all manufacturers, will be watching the market. What do their customers want? They want a bigger watch. And the Datejust, of course, it's a great selling watch. So let's talk about the specification, first of all. So this model is the 126300, 41 mil case size. It has an automatic chronometer movement with an accuracy to plus or minus two seconds per day. For those wanting to take the watch in the water, no problem, this will take you down to 100 meters. So it kind of does everything it needs to do and it's a really, really attractive looking watch too. So let's go and have a slightly closer look at it. Um, when this model came out, um, they made a number of changes. Um, we talked about the movement earlier on. One of the key differences in this watch was the introduction of the new 3235 movement. What this did is it increased the power reserve from around about 48 hours up to 70 hours. It also had sort of engineering built into the movement that had more resistance to shock and also more resistance to magnetism as well as that doesn't go particularly well with watches. So those were the, the main few things as far as the, the movement's concerned. The case, however, became slimmer, much slimmer than the Datejust 2. And this is a lovely, lovely watch to wear on the wrist. It's incredibly comfortable. You have a choice. You can have this on the Oyster bracelet or on the, the Jubilee bracelet. But the dial itself on this one, it's absolutely beautiful. Very simple, uh, a, a deep, rich black dial. You can see here the hour markers there with their luminous coating on them. That also applies to the hands that go around it. Of course, the very name, Datejust, this features the date, and you can see here, it has the Cyclops on it, giving you a two and a half times magnification. Aside from that, you've got the white gold crown at the top, and of course, the Rolex branding and Datejust, and then the superlative chronometer written across the bottom of the dial. So it's a really beautiful, beautiful looking watch. The steel that Rolex use in the Datejusts, as in all of their stainless steel watches, are what they call 904L grade stainless steel. It's all manufactured in-house. It's a really, really strong steel that's designed to last you for your generation and on to the next one as well. So a really, really strong steel. You can see here on the side of the case, this gives you an idea of its thickness and it's polished all the way down the side here. This also applies to the other side of the case. And here you can see the Rolex crown which screws into the side of the case to ensure this watch is going to be waterproof for you. 
So this particular bracelet is the Oyster bracelet. And I think it works so well, just going back to the dial here, you can see here, you have the domed bezel on it. Now this watch also comes with a fluted bezel, which is white gold, but they are a little bit more expensive. But here on the Oyster bracelet, you can see the polished center links running down through the middle, and then the satinized edges, and then on the side polished again too. So it's a very sporty, but yet elegant look. Back in round about 2007, Rolex introduced uh, what they call an easy link function. The purpose of that was just to give you a little bit more space on the wrist. This actually has that too, so it makes it quite practical when that watch is just a little bit too tight for you. So I'm gonna show you now on my wrist, and I've got a big wrist, it's about an eight inch wrist, so this is the perfect size for me. And um, there we have it. It's really, really nice, black stainless steel. I think that combination works with anything. And as I say, with that luminous, there's a reasonable amount of lume on the, on the hour markers there and on the hands. So it actually means it's quite easy to read at nighttime. And as we rotate my wrist there, you can see the bracelet tapering down to where it joins that deployment clasp. You can see the, the polished effect running all the way through the middle there. I'll just give you an idea what it looks like here. So that's, you can see there, quite easily fits underneath the shirt cuff. And again, just showing you the thickness there and here. Just a great looking watch. And of course, lots of dial colors. As I mentioned, we've got grays and silvers and blacks, but you can get blues, you can get whites. You get, of course, the Wimbledon dial, which is very, very hard to get. So a really good uh, choice of watches out there. So that's our Rolex Datejust. Full set, box and papers, 2020, unworn and available now. Um, thanks so much for watching today's videos. If you love your watches, why not subscribe to our channel? We'll notify you of all of our latest videos. Maybe you're on Instagram or Facebook. Come and join us there as we put all of our watches up there too. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.